I grew up all over Soweto. This was my grandmother's house and I grew up here first five years of my life in this kitchen. And the welcome Dover, which triggers nostalgia for many South Africans, was a prominent feature in this kitchen. It's a geezer, it's a heater, it's, yeah, you cook with it, you bake with it. I mean, it's a centerpiece of most Soweto houses. And most memories are built around your mother or your grandmother, even your dad in the kitchen cooking or warming up water for you to wash. I mean, you didn't have geezers back then. Each dish prepared here triggers a memory. Oh, geez, what was not cooked here. <laughs> um, so much, my grandmother made scones. She was actually a, a teacher, a homemade teacher. So we grew up seeing her cook here. Um, the traditional food is what I remember most though. That was my, my first love, the stampa, um, ding, malawam hul, mm. things like that. Those are the happy memories I have. Growing up with just boys in the house ignites Lisejo's love for the kitchen. I come from a family of three boys. And my mom would always say, oh, it's your fault you didn't come out as girls. <laughs> so she would get us always in the kitchen would cook. My grand, and both of my grands. Um, I lived with my gran for about, about five years before she passed away at the age of 97. And I would be the one who would cook for her um, before she passed away. And we'd always debate food. She'd always tell me I can't cook. And then my maternal grand, here in this kitchen itself, should get us involved as well. So um, we didn't grow up with uh, a a belief that boys don't belong in the kitchen. DJ is divided into three sections that span his food journey, starting with his favorite recipe, of course. It will have to be the dombolel mohod. That would have to be my number one meal. I think it's actually the first recipe in the book as well, when you open the pages. Yeah. To the you greet it by the dombolel mohod. And that is what I remember my mom by. His recipes, however, have a unique twist, as you can see with Amaguinha. The way our mothers made stuff, there's nothing wrong with it. But we've got spices, we've got herbs. They actually add balance and more flavor to stuff. And that's what I'm trying to also get across with the recipes in the book. I'm trying to get people to just, yeah, celebrate what we love, but also we can add stuff to it. It's a spin on traditional meals that keep us coming back for more. Because we need more of authentic South African cuisine being celebrated and being played with as well. Being um, twisted about and um, seeing the fun side of it too. Um, we're not just a mohodu and pap and flace and pry um, society, there's a lot more to it. Yeah. The second half of DJ explores Lisejo's technical skills and French cuisine. It's about that transition I made. So growing up with uh, like on a weekend, have you ever seen there's a, a steady trail of fancy cars that come from the northern suburbs to come eat um, spike or more, more so it. And there's a nostalgia we have with um, the township. We, we love it. But then we go back to our suburbs. So what I'm trying to do by adding different elements and switching things up is actually a metaphor for who we are as well. We can also celebrate our traditional and our Soweto and our township, but we can also evolve into something else. Lisejo's taking to the kitchen came as no surprise to his family. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe I was not even away. Mm -hmm. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. Why is it my mother? 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 So, I'm surprised. 